Hello and welcome to my first YouTube challenge. I am going to challenge myself to teach you how to plan an online lesson in just 10 minutes. So please hit the subscribe button and the like button and then sit back and relax. In the next 10 minutes you will be a pro technology class teacher. Okay, so make, to make this challenge a bit challenging, I've decided to teach something that is an English subject and not mine. So I'm going to start off with a slide and I want to add some content. So the first thing that I want to add is actually I want to add an image of the objectives. So my objective is to teach them what types of nouns are. So I'm just going to look here. Straight away, I've typed it in and I found um, some good pictures okay I'm just gonna try this one first and I can see it's actually perfect for what I want to teach them so I want to teach them that there are different types of nouns so these are abstract these are proper these are common and these are collective so the objective is to learn the different types of nouns okay and that's it that's your first slide done Next, what I want to do is I don't want to waste my time. Not I wouldn't call it waste my time, but you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, I don't want to worry about having to teach them from scratch when there are a myriad of videos out there. So I'm going to choose a video that is about the types of nouns. Let's just go for this one here and see if this is a little bit more of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to play this one and see if it's more in my in this lesson, line. These are named okay, so word. we've got park, yeah, we've got yeah. boys, Knowledge. abstract nouns, yeah. The this noun is the one that a. I want because I want the all of the types of nouns in there. And he's Have even got day. collective nouns, perfect. Okay, so this is the video that I want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another slide. So again, this is um, a slide that I'm going to add. Okay, so what I've done is I've added the video and now you can see that all of a sudden there are some more slides here. I'm just going to talk through them because the wait time is taking a long uh, time and I don't want to waste your time of your video. So all I did here was I added a question so they could actually, I could actually check whether they listened to the video. So I got them to choose the noun in the list and then I just click save and then that's a poll, that's a question in there. Then I teach them about common nouns. Now, what I've done with these slides is I haven't gone around and found loads of pictures and written the words on. I don't have time for that, and I don't think you guys do either. So all I've done is I've clicked on the slide itself, and I've done add image, and I've Googled what I want to teach them. So in this case, I wanted to teach them common nouns, and I found a good picture that will do the job for me that I can talk about as it's on the um, on the MS Teams or Zoom, whatever you're using to share with. And then I've got them to draw a picture of a common noun. So again, um, I've put a blue background there because I normally do that with pictures just so that it gives students a bit more interesting background to write on. But you could actually put little other things there, like you could put a background of a room and get them to circle the... Um, the nouns in that room for example now what happens is with these slides like the poll and the draw it is that you're going to get the results in real time of the students you're going to see what the students are actually writing down at the same time as when they're writing it this one again is again i've just googled a um, slide about proper nouns and then i've asked them to rewrite a sentence um, with the proper nouns then in here i've actually got them to understand what we mean by um, collective nouns. Again, Googled, uh, found a picture that explains what I mean, and then in here I've created a matching pairs exercise. So I've written, for example, a gaggle of and then geese. So what will happen is when this comes to the students, they'll have all of these separated out and they have to match each one to, uh, to the other. You can put pictures like I've done here or just have the words um, and I've just realised I spelled trees wrong somehow. One second, I do know how to spell. Um, and then save that. And then that's it. You've created a, um, a Nearpod, 
okay? Um, what, why I haven't done this in real time on my video, I promise you I'm not cheating, it's literally because it takes a bit of time to get everything to load. Um, and it did only take 10 minutes, but I know that I'm trying to make these videos faster because I do know that students, not students, sorry, teachers, um, we are running out of time and we just want to quickly learn the main ideas and the rest of it we do end up discovering by ourselves. So this last one I've left so that I can add the activity myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something called a time to climb. Now this is um, basically a quiz so I'm gonna just add a few quiz questions here and I'll see you in a second. So what I've done is I've just googled abstract nouns and I found a quiz on softschools.com I'm sure most of us have used this before I'm literally just um, cutting and pasting this into Nearpod and I'm just putting the same question in here um, so we've got river, raging and bravery, so these are the three options. So we're just going to tick the right option and then the dedication for Hannah is this one here. So all I'm doing is cut and paste. Well, Tyler's curiosity is what makes him a good detective. I'm going to cut and paste that into this section here. And then I'm going to put some of these words in here. So curiosity, um, detective. So this is what I mean by um, it takes time to just do these last kind of minute thing. Um, and we've got Tyler. So we're going to choose the right answer and then we're going to save. And now we've added the time to climb activity in there. So your whole lesson is done. So you've got your Nearpod. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how to do class kick to practice for the students to practice. And finally, we're going to do a quizzes to assess their work. Okay, so now you'll see that I'm in class kick, which is again, awesome app, really, really useful. And I've just looked in Google for a PDF noun worksheet. So um, it has to be PDF for me to put it inside the class kick. So I eventually found this one here, which I think is perfect, and it's got the answer key as well. I'm sure you guys don't need that, but I do. Anyway, um, what I've done is I've managed to download this in a PDF uh, format. So all I'm going to now do is go to Class Kick, and I'm going to put plus create from file, and I'm going to choose what I've saved on the um, Dex, and I'm going to press open. And then here we are and I'm just going to import the pages and I'm going to select finish. Now I do notice that I've put the answers in there. Again, I don't think there's any problem as long as you can trust your students to have the answers in there. So once you've got it in there, you're now going to assign it. So if you watch the class kick, they'll do this a lot faster. But you can basically assign a class to this and this will be the code that you share with your class. Once you've done that, you'll be able to see all of the students work down here. And as they're working, you'll be able to see them doing the work. So they'll all have this open on their page. And as they're working, you'll be able to see what they're doing right and wrong at the same exact time that you're teaching. So uh, what I've done now is I'll just switch to the other view where I can show you what I've actually got on my own class kick. I've made these stickers for myself. And then when the students have good work, I stick a sticker like that at the top. You just double click it. And then here I've shown you the class view where you can actually see what points each student has got and you can add them up and you know use it as an assessment score. For the final part of the lesson, I'm going to create a quizzes. As you can see, it asks you what you're going to teach today and then you just choose the topic, which for us is nouns. So I'm going to choose nouns and then you'll see that there's loads and loads of games that they could play in quizzes. Sorry about this uh, setting. Um, and then I can just choose a game that I want my students to play. Okay, so I'm going to see this one and I'm going to check Okay, what's the singular form? What is the following a noun? Is this a person? Excellent. Okay, so I'm just checking what the um, questions are and making sure that they agree with what I want to teach my students. And then I'm just going to get ready to play this live. So 
um, if you want, if you're doing this like earlier in the day, you can actually save it for yourself. Um, if you're just getting it ready before the lesson, you can just have it open in a tab and then as soon as the students come, you're going to press play live, you're going to host the game and then you're going to get the students to join your quiz. Once the students have logged in, it's right now it's waiting for players to join the game. But once they've logged in, you'll click start and then you'll be able to start the game. Again, it gives you quick, easy um, reports back. You understand everything that's going on. You know what they found hard, what they found easy, and you can move on with the next lesson.